here's something that caught me by surprise. You know how we're always struggling for more hard drive space? So I just discovered that when you're upgrading Lightroom, you're actually stealing just a little bit of space or actually a lot of space uh, during the upgrade process. So how does this work? So when you're starting Lightroom, you have this thing um, where you can either backup Lightroom or save previews. And if I go to edit preferences, <clears throat> catalog setting, then I can decide when I'm backing up my Lightroom catalog. This is set for never, but sometimes it is set up for, uh, you know, every one week or every time that Lightroom exits. And I can also decide when I'm discarding one-on-one -on -one peer reviews. <clears throat> Here's the thing though, when I'm upgrading Lightroom, uh, Lightroom will update the catalog and it will no longer clear those previous uh, backups and previews. So this is my Lightroom directory and here's the Lightroom that I started with from version one, then I've upgraded Lightroom once and I upgraded it uh, just a few days ago. And I discovered something really interesting. So if I'm opening up Windier Stat, uh, into my Lightroom catalog, and this is a software that shows me the size of each folder, then I realized that even though I had a uh, backup set to only that amount of time and delete previews every that amount of time, my first version, actually, if I'm going to look at the previews, <clears throat> actually has 11 gigabytes of previews that will never be deleted because this catalog is no longer opened. Um, so if you want to make sure that you're not having redundant data on your computer, you can just uh, make sure that you have a backup of this or make sure that you no longer need um, this old catalog or, you know, you can, you may want to choose to wait a while. But if I look at this, this has, this is amazing. It has 15, six, 16 gigs of data that I will never ever use. And this is from a few years ago. Uh, two Lightroom versions ago, and I'm just gonna hit delete and delete the thing. Um, it's gonna take quite a while, so thanks for watching, and hopefully uh, I saved you some bandwidth and some hard drive space. I'll be seeing you around.